What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm going to show you two food plots that are 100% herbicide free. We did not use any herbicides on this. And I'm not saying you have to do it this way, but for people that don't want to use herbicides, this is the way to do it. I'm going to show you, talk about the process. Hope you guys follow along. We're out here on the last steps of preparing for the 2019 and 2020 deer season. I'm overlooking this brassica plot right now. It's about almost a little more than a half an acre. And boom. One half acre of brassicas and some clovers mixed in as well. We used zero herbicides for this, guys. Um, there's not a weed in this plot. Not a single weed. There's winter, some winter wheat in here, clovers, and a mixture of brassicas, purple top, radishes, all that good stuff. But zero herbicides. And the way we did this is um, we came in in the spring and we disked this up. It was actually the end of last thing. It was the last Saturday of May. We came in, disked this up, and we planted a mixture of uh, peas and buckwheat. And we overseeded a little bit. Overseeded by a few pounds on each just to, when it does grow, it overshadows the weeds. Spring and summer, you may get some weeds not too concerned about it. When it, we let that grow, deer consumed it, we sprayed it, it was super powerful, palatable, had tons of deer in here. So then we let that grow, and then we came in three weeks ago, and we took what was there, there was some weeds in there, there was some grass, don't matter, there was buckwheat, there was some cow peas, um, there was actually a little bit of sunhep as well. So we came back through, and we disc that back in with the Ferminator, I'll run some footage over it, then the very next day we came in we fertilized with triple 19 and then once we did that we dissed that in and then we broadcasted winter wheat and i think about six pounds other five pounds or six pounds of brassicas there's four different types and we took that we spread it we caught the packet it down with the ferminator and now we have zero weeds all brassicas all winter wheat and when you get into the fall you will have less weeds if you disc that back in because most weeds this time of year most of them are done growing you know you might get a few that pop back up some grasses but most everything is going dormant that time of year so if you take your summer plot and you disc, disc that in this is what you get you'll have less weeds uh, and you'll have a beautiful plot now i'm not saying you have to do it this way there's many different ways to do it but i just do, like to do it the herbicide freeway um, I've used herbicides in the past as I get older I try to use less and less and less and less I just don't want that so the reason for turning this in and disking it is to build up organic matter plants hold micronutrients so when you disc those micronutrients back into the ground and they decompose naturally they release those micronutrients into the soil so it's always no matter what you do always what you do this year benefits next year so this plot is going to benefit us next year the deer most of the brassicas yes the deer are going to consume they're not going to be nothing there for green tonnage to turn back in but we've already did that through the spring and summer plot so there's some winter wheat and we actually i forgot we actually did broadcast like two pounds of clovers in here just to come back in the spring for turkey season because i love turkey hunting but um that's just that's a, a way to do it guys you don't need herbicides all right, now this plot here is actually uh, winter wheat, uh, winter rye, and uh, oats. Not buck forward oats, just oats we bought from the farm store or ag store. But um, we threw this mixture in here. It's almost uh, three quarters of an acre. I think we did 50 pounds of each in here. And this was actually the same method is we had buckwheat in here growing. We had some clovers from last year. And um, I think that's all we had on this side. Same thing, spring, summer, we let that grow. There were some weeds. We came back in, same time we planted the brassica plot. We tilled that back in, turned those greens back into the soil, and we came back through, and we used the ferminator, and we drew, uh, sowed these back in, um, you know, on this plot. As we did that, we called to pack it down, and this is what we're left with, a green side base. Super powerful, guys. Super powerful. There's actually, 
you can see there's a brassica there from uh that was probably left over in the seed bag but uh there's a radish but um yeah oh i forgot we actually added uh clovers you guys can see there we actually had some a uh, couple pounds of clovers in here as well for um spring as well like i mentioned uh for turkey season because i love turkey hunting but that's it guys we may come through here um in about a week or two and broadcast another maybe 25 pounds of winter wheat um on this plot this plot here is saved we're not hunting this area um we're going to save this mainly for rifle season um there's no tree stands around this plot there's no trees that we can actually hunt over this um so we got the sad daddy back there in the background overlooking this plot mainly for gun season chris's son hopefully he kills his uh, a deer here and then my buddy tj is going to be coming uh we'll have him hunting over this rifle season hopefully i can bust a doe out of here rifle season uh, i have a few doe tags as well we're gonna clean up the does a little bit but um that's it guys herbicide free food plots i don't see a single weed in here i see all weed oats rye but uh looking good all right guys we're actually in the sad daddy hunting blind now Whew, it's hot i just got done mowing but um we're overlooking this plot and i'll throw some footage in there but this plot was set or this uh sad daddy was set up like this overlooking this um it's mainly going to be a late season plot oats wheat rye there's a little bit of clover in there that comes back next year uh it's growing now but we got it in there so turkey season comes around we'll have some clover there but we set this up because when we're hunting comes in we'll be right over this plot it'll be the green food source in the area um and it'll be good to go so we're going to climb down now and uh i think that'd be it so see what happens guys next couple weeks should uh should get interesting <laughs>